Hi, let's learn how to create this beautiful continuous fluid flow animation. The way this graphic works is on a click you can see that we have a continuous fluid flow beautifully visualized using nothing but PowerPoint. This simple continuous liquid flow animation has a lot of applications in technical presentations. In engineering presentations, you can show the liquid flow. In medical presentations, you can show blood flow. In physics presentations, in chemistry presentations, wherever you need to visualize a continuous flow of liquid, you can use this simple animation. So let us learn how to create this animation from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide in a new presentation. The first step is to create the pipes so that we can have the liquid flowing through it. For that, let me go to basic shapes, pick up this one called as circle hollow, hold the shift button down and draw a hollow circle like this. Of course, you can always adjust the width of the pipe like so. Once we are happy with this, then we will try to divide this into four segments. Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the line tool and draw one vertically. Now let us go to the rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle like so, so that it divides the circle into two halves. Let us select this and then hold the shift button down and select this rectangle and then choose shape fragment. Now, when I do that, you can see that we have divided the circle into two equal halves. Let us select this, delete. Let us select this. You can see that this is one half and this is another half. Now we want to divide this semicircle into two halves. So let us go to auto shapes gallery, pick up the rectangle tool once again, and then draw the rectangle like so. Then again, let us select this shape Hold the shift button down and select this square or rectangle, whatever that you had drawn just now. And then let us use the fragment tool. You will find the fragment tool in shape format, merge shapes and in the fragment option. Now we can select this, delete. We have this piece. Let us differentiate this in one color. And we have this piece in another color. And we have this piece in another color. And then we don't need any other thing. So let's delete this horizontal line, the vertical line, all these unnecessary pieces can all be removed. Let us select everything and then go to shape outline and say no outline and even shape fill and have one uniform color, maybe this kind of a light blue color. Now let us create the pipe. Let us take this half, go to arrange, rotate and say rotate left 90 degrees and let us place it over here. Then let us take this piece. Once again, go to arrange, rotate and say rotate left 90 degrees and this we will use at the top and then let us select this and we will use this at the bottom. So let us flip it horizontally and this forms another piece of the pipe. Now we need to connect these various pieces with a rectangle. Now Go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that matches the width of the pipe here. Can you see here? I am now matching this width to this width here. Let us go to Shape Outline and say No Outline and give this the same color as this one. So let us go to Shape Fill, go to Eyedropper tool and you can pick this color so everything matches. So you can see that there is a seamless flow from this to this. Then let us place this right next to this so that we are able to complete our pipe. Then let us make a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and then let us place this to the bottom end and then let us place this. Excellent. Now we have got our pipe in place. Of course, you can always extend this pipe the way you want. For example, let me select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then let me rotate it right by 90 degrees and then let me reduce the size. So to reduce the size in a precise way, let us go to shape format and then let us reduce this width. In this case, width is our height. So let us just reduce it without affecting much of anything else and we can keep it here and if you want it you can have it reduced a little bit and let us do the same thing and let us hold the control button down 
as we move it down and we have this extended so this is all completely up to you let me reduce the height a little bit more if you're interested you can select everything and go to shape union and have the shape fixed the next step is to have the red circle depict the continuous flow for that once again let me go to auto shapes gallery pick up the oval tool hold the shift button down as you draw a small red circle go to shape fill and choose the red color go to shape outline and say no outline now we have got our red circle in place let us have this over here and then we need to have it move down for that let me go to animations keep the animation pane open so you can follow whatever i'm doing here then let us add motion path animation and you will find that here let us choose lines motion path the default direction is to the down so it's perfectly fine for us now this seems to have gone a little too far hold the shift button down and ensure that the distance covered is not way too much now the next step is a very important one we are going to have this red ball move through the curve and come to the center point over here the way we do that is we select this circle once again press ctrl d to create a duplicate and then we are going to place it at this point here which is the starting point don't worry too much about the animation for now because we are going to change the animation to custom path so let us go to motion paths and change this to custom path we are going to start this new animation from the point where the previous red arrow ends so we are going to click here and then let us have the place where the bend happens so which is going to be here in the middle make sure that you are able to trace the center point of the pipe so let me select this so let me click on that and then go once again here if you want to click again absolutely no problem click here and then move it so it is placed right in the center point of this pipe double click so that is how the movement happens now you can always adjust the position of any of these because once you are done you can select the path right click and go to edit points and you can move any of these points that we have just created you can have this converted to a smooth point so the movement happens much better and then you can adjust the starting point to correspond properly so you can use your down arrow and to the right arrow do all kinds of small adjustments to make sure that the path traced is perfect now let me go to slide show and let us see how these animations play on a click the first red ball goes down and then we have the next red ball going through the curve pretty beautifully now let us make a copy of this one again by pressing control d and let us change the direction of this to the right by going to effect options and right so this is how the movement is going to be now let us place this exactly where the previous ball has finished moving so you can always adjust and ensure that these two arrows are right next to each other we don't really need to have this going so far so let us have this reduced while holding the shift button down so this is the maximum length that i want this movement to be let us make a copy of this by pressing control d and then place this right next to where the previous one has ended once again make a copy of this once again make a copy of this can you see here we are able to reuse whatever that we had created earlier now i want this to end somewhere around this point so that it is able to travel through the bend again and we need to be extremely careful whenever we have this bend animation so let us select this ensure that the end point is somewhere around here and then let us make a copy of this by pressing control d it doesn't really matter which one you are able to take a copy of let us place this somewhere over here let us ensure that the starting point corresponds and then let us change this to custom path again so let us go here and use custom path and this time we are going to start from the center go here at the bend click go here again and click and then click and then come to the center point here and then double click so that is how the movement happens the movement is a bit rough and that is because when we right click on this path and go to edit points you would notice that these are all corner points we need to change them to smooth points so let us right click and go to smooth point go to this one and say smooth point and go to this one and make it smooth point 
Now you can always adjust these handles and ensure that the path is as smooth as it can be. And now the movement is pretty beautiful. Let us just select this piece here and then see how the animation plays. So let us go to play from and that is how it traces the curve. It is perfectly beautiful. Now once again let us make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and then let us place this over here and I'm going to change the direction. Let us go to effect options and say to the left so the movement is to the left. So that is the direction that we want. We don't need to have this going for that long. We can always reduce the distance while holding the shift button down. Now that looks decent enough. Now once again let us make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and then place it right next to the previous one make some small adjustments once again press ctrl d and ctrl d and then let us change this end point here hold the shift button down and let it end somewhere over here once again let us do this bend select this piece again press ctrl d to create a duplicate let us place this towards the end point and then change the path to custom path start with the center point here click here in corner and another one in this corner and then let it come out and then double click and let us select this and see how the movement is by selecting just that animation and say play from so that is how it goes we need to have this smoother let us go to this point and change this to smooth point and that looks pretty decent we don't really need to do any further adjustments and this looks good enough now we have a whole bunch of animations shown here we need to ensure that all of them happen with previous so let us select the second one hold the shift button down and select all the way till 12 and then let us have them all as with previous now let us select all of these animation events and then reduce the duration to 0.5 and then we are going to have this repeat so let us go to this drop down menu go to effect options have the smooth end made to zero and then smooth start made to zero and then go to timing and say this needs to repeat until end of slide and you say OK. Now when I go to slideshow you can see that this is how the movement happens. Now you can always make some adjustments. I can see that in this portion there is a really long gap which can always be plugged by having two of these balls placed here so the movement is even smoother. The same way if you feel that there is too much distance between these elements and too short here, you can make adjustments. It is completely up to you. What I had shown you is just the method of how to do it. Perfecting it takes a little bit of time, but when you make your presentation with this kind of animation, there is no doubt that your audience will pay full attention to what you have to show. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.